guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of watching me you are most welcome if you are a returning viewer you are loved so in this video today i am going to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful free boo boo gown this beautiful gown has been trading since two years now and it's very classy for both old young women irrespective of the age it looks good on women like so if you are very much interested to know how to cut and sew this please keep watching thank you very much so to cut this beautiful gown you'll be needing a fabric scissors chalk you can also call it a tallest chalk tape ruler and also your measurement book next i am going to open the fabric i have three yards of ankara with, right here with me but i am going to be needing just two yards so i had to cut off one yard because my client is on the smaller side but if you are on the bigger side you find yourself on the bigger side you have to be needing more than two years of fabric so so this is how i'm going to fold it i folded the material into four places and i'm trying to figure out the wrong side of the material because we'll be using the wrong side of the material to make this gown so i have folded it into four places one two three and four so let's go so the next thing i'm going to do now is to measure the full length of my gown the full length of my gown is 37 i'm going to use 37 as the full length of the gown plus the hemming which is 37 because the shorter it is if it's shorter it looks more beautiful when it's shorter so from there i'm going to mark my points my i'm going to first of all mark my hip point my waist point and my armhole point which is eight so my armhole on this gown is eight so i'm going to mark it down right now so after marking out the points that i will be needing for this beautiful gown i will divide my shoulder circumference that is my back so my shoulder is 15 inches so 15 divided by 2 i'm going to divide it here with my tape this is how to divide your measurement tape. 15 divided by 2 is seven and a half i marked it down plus eight inches um sleeve length i added eight, in, eight inches as my sleeve length so this is eight inches sleeve length so the next thing we are going to do is to mark our shoulder slope so i am going to come down by one inch from my shoulder from my sleeve point so i came down by one inch and i'm going to go in by three inches from the center of the gown so three inches then i'll connect it to the shoulder slope point so the three inches is going to serve as my neck weight then i'll connect it in a sloppy way like this so next thing i'm going to do is to come down down by four inches as my neck depth and i'll connect it like this so from the shoulder slope i'm going to come down by eight inches eight inches as the sleeve opening that's the opening of my sleeve and i'm going to go in by two inches as well so i'm going to go in by two inches and after going in by two inches i am going to mark my post point divide by two four my post point divide by post circumference divide by four plus three inches seam allowance then i'll connect it and i'll take the measurement down to the hemming line uh -huh. like this so it's very simple the only measurement you will be needing is just your bust measurement and that is all so i'm going to cut it out right now so this is cut together you don't need to cut the sleeve the sleeve everything is joined together it's very simple to make very simple so i'm done opening it i'm going to come down by one inch on the same should uh, neck uh, point so i'm going to cut this is for the back neckline and that is it so this is for the back and i'm going to remove the back and here we are going to cut out the front 
Mm -hmm. This is the front neck line. I've already cut it out. So it's time to start cutting out the faces, facing of the front. And this is how to cut your facing. If you don't know how to cut your facing, this is how to cut your face, cut your facing. Just measure it, cut it out exactly the way your neck line is. Then just add like two to three inches gap. Then you connect it in a curvy way like this. Then cut it out. So we're going to do the same for the back. <coughs> so, um, sorry, I have kata. So for the back, you place your fold your pieces and cut out the back. Add three inches or two inches, then curve it just the way we did for the front so the next thing we're going to do i used a gum stay on the front you know for the style like the front the front face it needs to stand out it needs to stand very well so i used the gum stay to make it stand very well i don't need it to when you wear it it will start flipping in and out up and down i need it to stand very well so the the gum stay that i just added on the front piece is going to help me help it to stand very well so i am going to come down by three inches or four, four inches sorry for the front i'm going to come down for four inches that's the front slit that's how to cut the front slit i'm going to open it now <coughs> and i'm going to do the same on the facing i came down by four inches I'm going to stop where I marked the four inches and I am going to attach it, join them together, the facing and the main fabric. Then I will sew it like this. Uh -huh. Like this now. I'll just sew it like this now. And for the back, I'm going to pin it down and I'll sew it exactly the way it is and here i am done joining and this is how it looks like and i'm finished ironing it this is how it looks like on the front and this is how it looks like at the back as well so the next thing i'm going to do right now join the shoulders together and this is how to join the shoulders together with facing in case you don't know how to join the shoulders with casing this is how to join you bring the casing the facing together the front facing and the back facing together one side of, of the front facing and one side of the back facing together then attach the front joining to the back joining make sure they are on the same line make sure the joinings are attached together then flip the facing at the back of the main fabric like this then pin it very well so this is how to join for the face and you're going to see how it's going to come out it's going to come out very neat like they already made So this is how it looks like after I'm done joining both sides and this is the final look. So I'm oiling it down and this is how it comes out. So neat and make sure you iron every step you make. Iron it very very well. It's going to give you a neat job, a very neat job. So um 
I'm going to level the sleeves make sure they are on the same level on the same length and everything so the next thing I'm going to do is to um, place the pocket the side pocket is going to have what just one side pocket and I'm going to for my shoulder come down by 18 inches so this is the sleeve and the pocket sorry and I am done joining the pocket so this is how it's going to look like so I'm going to start joining the pocket from 18 inches from my shoulder point on the shoulder of the gown I marked 18 inches and from the 18 inches that is where my pocket is going to be so I am going to I am trying to iron everything down ironing the sleeve then pin it down ironing the pocket then pin it down and so that it will make the work very easy for me so this is how I am doing it so the next thing I'm going to do is to iron in the hemming the hemming line so I am going to go in by 2 inches but before then I'm going to iron in half inch and then go in by 2 inches again I want this gun to be short but not too short I want it to be like very okay like when you wear it the style will come out very well because if it's not sh that short it will not be fine so I want it to be fine like very classic and beautiful so I'm ironing I iron this um the hemming line by two inches plus the half inches that I first folded that is two and a half inches and this is how it looks like so I'm going to iron the I'm going to iron in the back uh, the back of the gown so I don't need to um, um, use the tape again I'm going to use the front to um, know the right measurement for the back so I'm going to iron the back right now and once I'm done ironing the next thing I'm going to do right now is to iron the sleeve I'm going to iron the sleeve by one inch the sleeve is going to go in by one inch so I use the total of one and a half inch half inch for the folding and one inch for the hemming that's for the sleeve and I'm going to sew it down so i'm going to join the both sides and here is the final look after joining everything it's very simple classy beautiful anything name it so it's very easy to make it can be made under one hour 30 minutes depending on how fast you are so we have come to the end of the video thank you guys for watching Please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment on my videos. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for loving me. See you in my next video. Bye.